my loves this is coach Lucretia and today I kind of want to do a quick video I'm not gonna be with you guys long but I want to discuss something that that seems to be a problem for a lot of people and I've had a lot of you guys inbox me um, especially on my M rain page and you've kind of been the victim of it um, and so there's only one way to rectify the problem of of the the religion of spirituality because it seems that no matter what happens people want to get dogmatic with beliefs and tell you what you cannot do and what you can do spiritually okay but before i get into that let me just make you guys aware that next month i will have an energy class i have have one of my first of the series of energy classes that i will be doing this first one is going to be at a discounted rate it's only going to be 99 dollars um and the class will uh cover um, it's kind of going to be an introduction to energy, how to feel it, sense it, how to work with it, how to channel it, harness it, all of that. So that'll be in that first class. It should be about an hour and a half. Um, I will got, I will get with you guys as soon as I know the date and let you guys, uh, start registering. So that'll be that. I will also open up the mentorship apprenticeship, uh, program, uh, for those VI, those who want to be VIP clients who, um, It'll kind of give you, you know, a discount on because some of you guys are are buying these major sessions every week and it would just be a lot less money on in the long run if you just become a, a VIP client. Um, so I have a lot of that going on. Some of that stuff is already on my website. Um, those who are talking about the cord cuttings and the deep energetic clearings and stuff like that. Soul contract cancellation, all of that. That's on my website, I believe, now. And it's uh, LucreciaHayes.com uh, under the Coach tab. But if not, you can always email me if there are certain services you need or hit me up on uh, social media. I'm going to put all my information below. So anyway, guys, listen. When you leave mainstream religion or if, if you're just coming in from what we call heathenism, just not even working with any kind of God or any kind of energy at all to spirituality, the last thing you need is someone trying to be dogmatic with their beliefs of what you can and cannot do. And I want you to understand something. This is the problem and this is the part of, of the deeper levels of spirituality that most people don't get because they feel like if it worked for them this way, that is the only way that it can work or should work or it should be done because everybody kind of wants to be in on the on the way it got to be done you know you got people out here that tell you that that you need to be initiated to do this people out here that tell you that you know you can't know who your guardian orisha is without going through um uh the divination and all of that but if 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 the orisha has come to you and presented themselves how how can you override the energy that's present in favor of the people who really don't know see i'm gonna tell you the thing about spirituality is we're all on our own individual journey we are all creating this journey but we're co-creating together and when it the problem with co-creating is that each party has the right to have their experience and express their experience sharing it and that kind of thing because you sharing your experience can help me grow in my own but if you sharing your experience becomes so dogmatic that you can start trying to tell me i got to do this and i got to do that for this to happen when nine times out of ten i don't have to um you know I, I remember when i was a kid when we used to have arguments and stuff like that you know how that is kids on the playground arguing about whatever it's kind of like i ain't got to do nothing but live and die and pay taxes you know type of thing well that's kind of really true okay um there are people who write me every day confused they don't know what to do well do i have to do this do i have to do it i read this somewhere and i read the other alternative belief another place and these people say and these people say you must and please hear me here you must get to a place where you are walking in your discernment because it is your discernment that's going to make the big difference in your life because see you're not on their journey you're on your journey and so on your journey you got to figure out what works for you everybody is trying to get you still yet not everybody I, I don't like using that term. A lot of people are still on this whole thing about you got to have a teacher, you got to have a mentor, you got to have a, 
a Bible lab, you got to have a, a pre high priestess, a high priest, or whatever the case may be. You got to learn how to go within. That is the most important thing because until you learn how to go within, until you, you, um, uh, until you really discover that still quiet place inside of you of knowing you're prone to be deceived by other people and everybody who's deceiving you, they didn't set out to deceive you. They're just deceived themselves. You see what I'm saying? So for a person who paid $10,000 because they were told they had to go through this initiation process and it had to be, you know, blah, 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 blah. And they see you doing the same thing they're doing, but you didn't spend no money. Sometimes that can make a person feel a certain kind of way. It's like, you can't do that. You know, who are you to tell me I can and can't? You are a person, you know, stay in your lane. I'm staying mine. Guys, y'all got to get very bold right now. You cannot be a... Uh, uh, pussyfooting around with this walk you cannot be playing with it you uh, it's no room for a coward in your spirituality you cannot be afraid to be you you cannot be afraid to speak your truth you cannot be afraid to have your own unique experience so if people don't agree so what they don't agree if if you can if, you know if nobody seems to see it the way you see it but you know that's exactly what happened to you and you know that this is what you're experiencing who cares there is no other person like you on this earth. There is not another you. You got a million people out there with a thousand similarities. You know, a lot of you might look like dang near like twins. But when you get down to the nitty gritty, down to the DNA, y'all are not the same. Okay. So you're not going to always find somebody to agree with you, to validate your findings or your experience and all of that. And you need to get beyond the point of feeling like you need that. Because you don't need that. What you need is for your intuition and your discernment to be on and always operational. Okay, now, even now, you know, the, the benefit of teachers and classes and stuff like that is so you can learn the underlying principle to various things that you want to do. There's an underlying principle to manifesting money or wealth. There is an underlying principle to manifesting love or lasting love. There's an underlying principle to healing and that kind of thing. So when you learn those underlying principles, that's what I, I focus on. I focus on teaching people underlying principles because I am not the creator of all things. I'm not the most high. So I cannot make a decree about what it got to be for everybody in the world. Cause number one, I've never met everybody in the world. Number two, I don't know everything in the world and nobody else does either. And number three, and, and let me, okay, whoop, let me rewind this. I do believe that locked in the technology of this body is all knowledge. That's why it's so important to go within but nobody is fully unlocked like that. I mean, you know, and when I say that, what I mean is this, that we're all on a journey of growing and learning, growing, learning, elevation, growing, learning, elevation. Okay. So from that perspective, when people speak, like when people make those wide sweeping um, uh, statements about you know, you got to be initiated to work with the Orisha or you got to be initiated to work with the deities of, of Voodoo or whatever. Then the problem is, or you got to be a Christian to get to heaven. You know, all those broad sweeping statements are almost always going to be a lie because they're just sharing their experience and making it the law according to them. But they only run their life. They're only the the higher power of their own life, so to speak, for people who think who think like that. But they're not your higher power. Not at all. Now, um, so here, here are some principles, though, that I think you guys just need to know just to get started. Okay, because when people talk about intuition and discernment, as I said before, you need those things active active operational in your life all the time if you're going to be on this spiritual journey okay what i'm saying when i'm talking about that intuition um is that that quiet small this small quiet still place inside of you where you just kind of know like for instance when you might be riding down the street and something it's just like that something inside of you automatically knows that 
whatever something is about to happen and then something happens see that that little place right there is like the place of intuition and it requires you to get quiet so you can hear you got to rise above the noise you got to turn the noise off you know turn off the tv turn off if that's the case turn off the music turn off the world and get go within so you can hear the voice of your over soul who who has a um a more dynamic view of life uh than you do okay when it, when we're talking about discernment we're talking about the discerning of spiritual forces and different things that's active right now all around you or wherever whatever you're trying to do and the way that you discern is again in stillness and quietness that doesn't mean that i mean you get to a place i'm talking about for people who just starting you will get to a place where you are so in tune with yourself and you put in the time to meditate all the time to where you've learned the voices of of different energies entities your own over so you know the voice of the most high or whatever you will get to that place. But in the beginning, it requires you to get still because you're actually learning how to tune out the world and tune into self and tune into divinity and tune into all of these things. That's what that is. So those things cannot be skipped. You cannot go from knowing nothing straight into trying to burn candles and incense and all these different things and, and calling down the moon and all this stuff that, that people do. That's dangerous because if you have no discernment, how do you know what you're really dealing with? You know, people act like liars are only on this side of the veil. There are liars on both sides of the veil. Death don't change the character of a person automatically. And that's something else that we'll get into at a later date. Now, another underlying principle for you guys to keep in, in, in uh, mind is this. When some people say God and some people say energy and some people say universe, they're all talking about the same thing. They ain't going to admit that they're talking about the same thing because everybody want people to think that this way is the right way. We, we live in a very a world that's divisive, this duality that's there where people fight against one another because they can't stand not to be the owner of that one right way. They don't want to feel like, you know, it's a million different ways because that, that makes a person feel a certain kind of way. So a lot of times they're talking about the same thing. So why I say that is this, do not get caught up on names, titles, and words. You want to, to establish the kind of relationship that when you're dealing with, with the most high, when you're dealing with meditation, when you're dealing with whatever you're dealing with, you want to have that kind of relationship inside yourself that you realize that words are just really words but you want to learn to identify things by their energy signature so again all of this when i say i'm talking about going within getting quiet not getting caught up on words and all of that stuff the best way to start this process is developing a life of meditation for some people that means sitting there you have the whole thing going you know you got the fingers going and you're sitting still but for other people the best way for them to meditate is a long bike ride a long uh, uh, walk or something like that. Whatever it is that helps you tune out everything else and tune into you, then by golly, do it. Spend some time outside. Get these downloads from the sun. That's very important, especially now, because some of you guys are suffering from really low energy because you're not doing the things to actually bring energy in. And you have allowed, even some of you guys have, have lost bits and pieces of your soul. And that's another thing that I'll be adding to my uh, soul restoration, to my website soon, because that that's necessary. That is very necessary. And because it's all of this stuff that I'm talking about will fall on deaf ears if you to the place where your soul is fractured, damaged, or, you know, partially gone, <laughs> you know, partially eaten. So all of that is real. That's a real thing. And it's nothing wrong with asking for help. But what I'm asking you guys not to do is make these people into your gods to where you feel afraid to think differently or disagree with them. Nobody deserves that kind of reverence from you. You are just like them. They are just like you. We are all one. And each of us are powerful and amazing in our own way. Do not give up your individuality and your own particular power, your own um, unique expression of the divine in favor of somebody else's because theirs is not better than yours. The point of a teacher, if they are going to be a great teacher, is to help you tap into you 
and facilitate that healing and that ascension and that elevation and that, and that sovereignty and that freedom. All right, guys. Well, again, for those of you who missed Glenn Klein, check me out on Facebook. It's M Rain, E M M E, or um, it's facebook.com forward slash magical mystic. Or you can go to my regular page, Lucretia Hayes Reno, which is full, but I do list cleaning and add people from time to time. So um, both of those pages. And don't forget to check out my website, LucretiaHayes.com. I love you guys. Go and have a very blessed day.